Western people also improving relationship with Burma. So I, my question is, which side do you uh, take? After all, we all have to take sides. No, I don't think so. I don't think we all have to take sides. And if I have to take sides, I'll take sides with human rights because human rights belong to people all over the world. And I think uh, I must make a point that China is our neighbor. China will always be Burma's neighbor for as long as this world lasts. So our relationship with China will be the special one of neighbors, whereas our relationship with Western countries, which have been trying to help us to achieve democracy, will be a different kind of relationship, a friendship based on shared values of democracy. So I don't think we have to make it either or. We can be friends with the West, and we can be friends with China, each in its own special way. Uh, we've talked today about your country's relationship with China. Uh, I'm wondering how you're working with the world's largest democracy, India, and what's next in terms of that relationship? I've been very frank about the fact that we have been disappointed with regard to India. We feel sad that India, which was always a very good friend, to Burma and to the people of Burma now does not seem to be as much concerned about our fate as we would wish them to be. Of course, there are many reasons for this, but we would like India to think back to the days when our two countries worked together to achieve independence, when the leaders of our countries were close to each other personally and politically. And I would like them to believe that the time will come when this kind of cooperation will be to the benefit of both countries. You talked about Burma's relationship with, with the rest of the world. Burma is a member of ASEAN and also the United Nations and there has been some dialogue. Do you see any hope uh, going forward with either of those organizations in terms of of, of progress uh, for some of the objectives that we all want to achieve? Uh, and if not, do you see any, uh, any other ways of approaching them? Yes, I do see hope. Uh, ASEAN is taking a greater interest in the internal, what they used to call the internal uh, affairs of Burma now than they ever used to. And we, the democratic opposition, uh, we have uh, closer links many more links with the ASEAN countries and governments now than we used to do in the past. So there's very much reason for hope. With regard to the United Nations, of course, it's made up of many, many nations. So in order to achieve consensus is, uh, is really difficult. But we always think that there's hope. For example, quite recently, the United Nations Human Rights Council came up with a resolution which is very strong and which uh, we were very happy about. We had not expected such a strong and clear resolution with regard to the need for certain changes in Burma. So there's always hope, but mind you, I always say, no hope without endeavor. If you want to hope, you've got to work hard. Otherwise, don't hope. It's no more than a daydream. <laughs>